Homeowners in shore towns like Belmar, hit hard by Hurricane Sandy's path, want to know why their premiums for flood insurance plans are going up when they're still working out claims for damage sustained from the storm more than two years ago. Well, the house behind us is a great example of a family that paid into the flood insurance uh, policy, that paid into their premiums for eight to ten years before Sandy, and now uh, was essentially denied their claim for the foundation that's being done. As part of the Homeowners Flood Insurance Affordability Act, new rates and policies go into effect starting today. The legislation is intended to offset spikes that would have been even higher from a previous federal reform, but it still means more money out of policyholders' pockets. A primary residence, which includes single family and individual condo units, will see a surcharge of $25. Everyone else, non primary, multifamily, and non residential, will be charged $250. That's a flat fee and doesn't change regardless of your plan's premium. According to FEMA, which oversees the program, surcharges go into effect when your policy is up for renewal. It also applies to renter's insurance. Christine O'Brien, the president of Insurance Council of New Jersey, explained the changes. The trade-off is you'll pay a surcharge to help pay down the debt of $24 billion of the NFIP, the National Flood Insurance Program, which up until now has been subsidizing flood insurance premiums so that they were affordable. She's talking about national debt that ballooned after losses from Hurricane Katrina and Sandy, where many policyholders' plans didn't reflect the actual risk of coastal living and were supported by federal subsidies that kept their rates lower. Under this new plan, the average premium could rise up to 18 percent, but vacation rental and commercial properties could go up to 25 percent in increases. We've seen an increase in maybe six, seven hundred dollars on average, where people were paying maybe seven, eight hundred dollars for flood, or paying now anywhere between twelve and eighteen hundred dollars for flood. So, is it an increase? Yes. Could it double what you're paying? Yes. But is it still affordable based on what you're insuring? I would like to think it's worth it. But what about those homeowners who still aren't back in, whose cases have been denied? We pressed FEMA today. Believe me, we understand and empathize and. and uh, understand their, their, their plight. What we are doing is, though, we, we have now created the Office of uh, Insurance Advocacy uh, out of our headquarters to handle any of these types of concerns. So what, what I would suggest is I would refer them to the Office of Our Advocacy so that their, their concern can be heard and addressed uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. The new legislation does permit grandfathering, which means anyone whose home was built after 1975 can keep their current rating and not be reassessed. But for those with homes built prior, it could be a tough pill to swallow. For NJTV News, I'm Brianna Venozzi.